Catastrophic. What? What'd you say, Dodge? It looks like rain to me. Plain old rain. Rain? <clears throat> of course it's rain. Are you having a seizure or something? <clears throat> Dodge. <clears throat> I'm coming down there in about five minutes if you don't answer don't me. Don't come down. What? Don't come down. Watching baseball. What are you watching? You shouldn't be watching anything that will get you excited. Nothing gets me excited. <laughs> no horse racing. They don't race here on Sunday. What? They don't race on Sundays. Well, they shouldn't race on Sundays, the Sabbath. Well, they don't, not here anyway, the boondocks. Good. I'm amazed they still have that kind of legislation. Some semblance of morality, that's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing. It is. It truly is. I would have thought these days they'd be racing on Christmas Eve. <laughs> A big shiny Christmas tree right down at the finish line. No, nope, not yet. They used to race on New Year's, I remember that. They never raced on New Year's. Sometimes they did. No, they never did. Before we were married, they did. <laughs> Before we were married. I went once with a man on New Year's. Oh, a man. Nothing. A wonderful man, a breeder. A what? A breeder. A horse breeder. Oh. Thoroughbred. Oh, thoroughbred's wonderful. You betcha, a breeder man. That's right. He knew everything there was to know. I bet he taught you a thing or two, huh? Took you for a good turn around the old stable. Knew everything there was to know about horses. We won bukus of money that day. What? Money. Won every race, I think. Bukus? Every single race. Bukus of money? It was one of those kind of days. New Year. Yes. It might have been Florida or California. Uh, one of those two. Can I take my pick? It was Florida. Uh huh. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. The sun was just gleaming. Flamingos and bougainvilleas. Flamingos, bougainvilleas. Everything was just dancing with light. There were all kinds of people from everywhere. Everyone was dressed to the nines. Not like today. Not like they dress today. People had a sense of style. I mean, when was this anyway? This was long before I knew you. Yeah, it must have been. Long before. I was escorted. To Florida? Yes. It might have been California. I forget which. All that way you were escorted? Yes. And he never laid a finger on you, I suppose. This gentleman, breeder man. <laughs> Allie, we're, we're still in the land of the living? Are you going out today? Well, in this. I'm just asking a simple question. I rarely go out in the bright sunshine. Why would I go out in this? I'm just asking because I'm not doing any shopping today. And if you need anything, you should ask Tilden. Tilden's not here. He's in the kitchen. All right. What? All 
All right, I'll ask Tilden. Don't scream. <coughs> Let me get your coffee started. Scream. Men don't scream. Just tell Tilden what you want and he'll get it. Bradley should be over later. Bradley? Yes, to cut your hair. My hair? I don't need my hair cut. I haven't really got any hair left. You won't hurt. I don't need it. It's been over two weeks, Doc. I don't need it, and I never did need it. I have to meet Father Dewis for lunch. And you tell Bradley that if he shows up here with those clippers, I'll separate him from his manhood. I won't be very late. I made it in for it for very late. Yeah, well, you better tell him. Last time you left me near bald, I wasn't even awake. That's not my fault. You put him up to it. I never did. You did, too. You had some fancy idiot house social plan. Time to dress up the corpse for company. Lower the ears a little. Put up a little front. I'm surprised you didn't tape a pipe to my mouth while you were at it. That would have looked nice. A pipe. Maybe a bowler hat. Maybe a copy of the Wall Street Journal casually placed on my lap, fat Labrador retriever at my feet. You always imagine the worst things of people. That's the least of the worst. I don't need to hear it. All day long, I hear things like that. I don't need to hear it. You better tell him. You tell him yourself. He's your own son. You should be able to talk to your own son. Not while I'm sleeping. He cut my hair while I was sleeping. Well, he won't do it again. Well, there's no guarantee. He's a snake, that one. I promise he won't do it without your consent. There's no reason for him to even come over here. He feels responsible. For my hair. My appearance is out of his domain. It's even out of mine. In fact, it's disappeared. I'm an invisible man. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You better not try it. That's all I got to say. Tilden will watch out for you. Tilden won't protect me from Bradley. Tilden's the oldest. He'll protect you. Tilden can't even protect himself. Not so loud. You'll hear him. He's right in the kitchen. Tilden. Dad, what are you trying to do? Tilden, get your ass in here. I don't enjoy anything. That's a terrible thing to say. <coughs> Tell him. That's the kind of statement that leads right to an early grave. Tell him. Oh, it's no wonder people have turned their backs on Jesus. Tell him. It's no wonder the messengers of God's word are shouting louder now than ever before, screaming to the four winds. Tell him. <coughs> Doug, if you don't make that hill, nobody is going to force you. <clears throat> Least of all me. There's no honor in self-destruction. No honor at all. Where'd you get that? Pick it. You picked all that? Mm-hmm. You expecting company? No. Where'd you pick it from? Right out back. Oh, back where? Right out in back. There's nothing out there in back. There's corn. No, there hasn't been corn out there since about 1935. That was the last time I planted corn out there. Well, it's out there now. Hallie. Yes, dear. Have you come to your senses? Till Liz brought a whole bunch of sweet corn in here. There's no corn out back there, is there? Tons of corn. Not that I know of. Well, that's what I thought. Not since about 1935. That's right, 1935. That was the last of it. Well, it's out there now. You go take the corn back to where you got it from. It's picked. I picked it all in the rain. Once it's picked, you can't put it back. I, I haven't had any trouble with the neighbors here in 57 years. I don't even know who the neighbors are, and I don't want to know. Now, go put the corn back where it came from. Yeah. Are you having trouble here, children? <laughs> you in some kind of trouble again? I'm not in any trouble. You can tell me if you are. I'm still your father. I know it. I know you had a little trouble back there in New Mexico. That's why you came out here. Isn't that the reason you came back? I never had any trouble. <laughs> tell them your mother told me all about it. What'd she tell you? I don't have to repeat what she told me. She told me all about it. Can I bring my chair in from the kitchen? What? Can I bring my chair in from the kitchen? That's not a chair. That's a stool. Milking stool. Can I bring it in there? Sure. Bring it in there. Bring it on in there. Just don't call it a chair when it's a stool.
pretty good looking corn. Golden. <coughs> hybrid. Stop. With some kind of fancy hybrid decalb. You planted it. I don't know what it is. I never planted it. Still didn't look. You can't stay here forever. You know that, don't you? I'm not. I know you're not. I'm not worried about that. That's not the reason I brought it up. What's the reason? The reason is, I'm wondering what you're going to do with yourself. You're not worried about me, eh? Right? I'm not worried. No. I'm just wondering. Because you weren't worried about me when I wasn't here. When I was in New Mexico. Oh, I wasn't worried about you then either. You should have been worried about me then. Why is that? You didn't do anything down there, did you? Nothing serious. I didn't do anything wrong. So why should I have worried about you? Because I was by myself. By yourself? Yeah. I was by myself more than I've ever been before. Well, why was that? Can I get some of that whiskey you got? What whiskey? I haven't got any whiskey. You got some right on the sofa. I haven't got anything under the sofa. Now mind your own damn business. Judas Priest, you come out of this house out the middle of nowhere. I haven't mean, heard her seen you 20 some years and suddenly you're making accusations. I'm making accusations. You're accusing me of hoarding I'm whiskey. I'm not accusing under the sofa. you. You just got through telling me I had whiskey under the sofa. Dodge! Now she knows about it. <laughs> she ain't know about it. Yeah, she knows. Dodge, are you talking to yourself down there? I'm talking to Tilden. Tilden's down there? Yeah, he's right here. What? He's right here. What's he doing? Don't answer her. <laughs> I'm not doing anything wrong. No, you're not. What's he doing down there? Don't answer whatever you do. Don't <laughs> answer her. Dodge. Dodge, he's not drinking anything, is he? You see to it that he doesn't drink anything. You gotta watch out for him. It's our responsibility. He can't look after himself anymore, so we have to do it. Nobody else is gonna do it. We just can't send him away somewhere. But if we had lots of money, we could send him away, but we don't. We never will. And that's why we have to stay healthy, you and me. Nobody is going to look after us. Bradley can't look after us. Bradley can hardly look after himself. I was always hoping that Tilden would be the one to look out for Bradley when they got older, after Bradley lost his leg. Tillman's the oldest. I always thought he would be the one to take responsibility. I had no idea in the world Tilden would be so much trouble. <laughs> Who would have dreamed? Tilden was an All-American, don't forget. Don't forget that. A fullback or quarterback. I don't get bad Don't make a piece. Just let her babble. And then when Tilden turned out to be so much trouble, I put all my hopes on Ansel. Oh. Ansel wasn't as handsome, but he was smart. He was the smartest, probably. Yeah, I think he probably was. Smarter than Bradley, that's for sure. Didn't go and chop his leg off with a chainsaw. <laughs> smart enough not to go and do that. I think he was smarter than Tilden, too. Especially after Tilden got in all that trouble. It doesn't take brains to go to jail. Anybody knows that. Of course, then when Ansel passed, that left us all alone. Same as being alone, no different. Same as if they all died. So he was the smartest. He could have earned lots of money. Lots and lots of money. Bukus! He would have took care of us, too. He would have seen to it that we were repaid. He was like that. He was a hero, don't forget that. A genuine hero. Brave, strong, and very intelligent. Ansel's a hero? Ansel could have been a great man. One of the greatest. I only regret that he didn't die in action. It's not fitting for a man like that to die in a motel room. <laughs> a soldier. He could have won a medal. He could have been decorated for valor. I talked to Father Dewis about putting up a plaque for Ansel. He thinks it's a good idea. He agrees. He knew Ansel when he used to play basketball. Went to every game. Ansel was his favorite player. He's even recommended to the city council that they put up a statue of Ansel. A big, tall statue with a basketball in one hand and a rifle in the other. That's how much he thinks of Ansel. Ansel's a hero. 
Of course, he'd still be alive today if he hadn't married into the Catholics. <laughs> the mob. How in the world he never opened up his eyes to that is beyond me. Just beyond me. Everyone around him could see the truth, even Tilden. Tilden told him time and time again, Catholic women are the devil incarnate. <laughs> he wouldn't listen. I don't remember that. I must have been gone somewhere. <laughs> he was blind with love. Blind. I knew. Everyone knew. The wedding was more like a funeral. You remember? All those Italians. All that horrible black greasy hair. The rancid smell of cheap cologne. I think even the priest was wearing a pistol. When he gave her the ring, I knew he was a dead man. I knew it as soon as he gave her the ring. But then it was the honeymoon that killed him. The honeymoon. I knew he'd never come back from that honeymoon. What's this in my house? What's all this mess? Oh, and you encourage me. You're going out in the rain for a little soiree. Well, it's not raining now, is it? Not in Florida, it's not. <laughs> We're not in Florida. It's not raining at the racetrack. Have you been taking those pills? Those pills always make you talk crazy. Mm. Tilden? Yeah. Has he been taking those pills, those teeny little blue pills? He ain't took anything. What have you been taking? There's not raining in California or Florida or at the racetrack. <laughs> only in Illinois. This is the only place it's raining. All over the rest of the world is bright golden sunshine. Which ones did you take? Tilden, you must have seen him take something. He never took a thing. Well, why is he talking crazy? Crazy, 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 crazy. I've been here the whole time. Well, then you've both been taking something. I've just been asking the corn. Well, did you get that corn anyway? Why is the house suddenly full of corn? Bumper crap. Unexplainable. <laughs> we haven't had corn here in over 30 years. The whole back lot is full of corn, far as the eye can see, like an ocean. Things keep happening while you're upstairs, you know. <laughs> the world doesn't stop just because you're upstairs. Corn keeps growing, rain keeps raining. I am not unaware of the world <laughs> around me. Thank you very mm. much. So happens that I have an overall view from the upstairs. A panorama. The backyard's in plain view of my window, and there's no corn to speak of, absolutely not. Tilden wouldn't lie. He says there's corn, there's corn. What's the meaning of this corn, Tilden? It's a mystery to me. <laughs> I was out there and back, and the rain was coming down, and I feel like coming back inside. I didn't mind the cold so much, and I didn't feel the wet. I was just walking, and I was muddy, but I didn't mind the mud, and I looked up. And I saw this stand of corn. In fact, I was standing in it, surrounded. <laughs> it was over my head. There isn't any corn outside, Tilden. Mm -hmm. There's no corn. Mm -hmm. It's not even the season for corn. Mm -hmm. Now you must have either stolen this corn or you bought it. He doesn't have a red cent to his name. He's totally dependent. So you stole it. I didn't steal it. I don't want to get kicked out of Illinois. I got kicked out of New Mexico. I don't want to get kicked out of Illinois. You are going to get kicked out of this house, Tilden, if you don't tell me where you got that corn. Tilden. Ah! <laughs> Why'd you have to tell him that? Who cares where we got the corn? Why'd you have to go and threaten him with expulsion? This is your fault, you know. You're the one that's behind all of this. I suppose you thought this would be funny. Some joke, cover the house in corn husks. Well, you better get this cleaned up before Bradley sees it. Bradley's not getting in the front door. Oh, Bradley is gonna be very upset when he sees this. He doesn't like to see the house in disarray. He can't stand it when one thing is out of place, the slightest thing, you know how he gets. Bradley doesn't even live here. This is his home as much as ours. He was born in this he house. He was born in a hog wallow. Don't you say that, don't you ever say that. He was born in a goddamn hog wallow. That's where he was born, and that's where he belongs. He doesn't belong in this house. I don't know what's come over you, Dodge. I don't know what in the world has come over you. You've become an evil, spiteful, vengeful man. You used to be a good oh, man. Six of one, half dozen of another. You sit here day and night, festering away, decomposing, smelling up the house.
house with your putrid body, hacking your head off till all hours of the morning, thinking up mean, evil, stupid things to say about your own flesh and blood. He's not my flesh and blood. My flesh and blood's out there in the backyard. It's enough, Dodge. It's quite enough. You've become confused. I'm going out now. I'm going to have lunch with Father Dewis. I'm going to ask him about a monument for Ansel. A statue, at least a plaque. That ought to heal things up. A statue. If you need anything, you should ask Tilden. He's the oldest. I've left some money on the kitchen table. I don't need a thing. No, I suppose not. Still rainy. I love the smell just after it stops. The ground. It's like the ground is breathing. I won't be too late. Oh, Dodge. Tell Tilden not to go out in the back lot anymore. I don't want him back there in the rain. He's got no business out there. Tell him yourself. He's sitting right here. He never listens to me, Dodge. He's never listened to me in the past. I'll tell him. We have to watch over him just like we used to now. Just like we always have. He's still a child. I'll watch him. Good. We don't want to lose him. I couldn't take another loss. Not at this late date. Shouldn't have told her that. What? What you told her, you know. What do you know about it? I know. I know all about it. We all know. So what difference does it make? Everybody knows, everybody's forgot. She didn't forget. She should have forgot. It's different for her. She couldn't forget that. How could she forget a thing like that? I don't want to talk Why'd about it. Why'd you say it's your flesh and blood? I don't want to talk about it. Well, what do you want to talk about? I don't want to talk about anything. I don't want to talk about troubles or what happened 50 years ago or 30 years ago or the racetrack or Florida or the last time I seated a corn. I don't want to talk, period. Talking just wears me thin. Well, you don't want to die, do you? No, I don't particularly want to die either. Well, you have to talk or you'll die. Who told you that crap? That's what I know. I learned that in New Mexico. I thought I was dying, but I just lost my voice. Were you with somebody? A woman? A woman will make you think you're dying. Sure, shoot. I was alone. I thought I was dead. You might as well have been. What did you come back here for? I didn't know where else to go. You're a grown man. You shouldn't be needing your parents at your age. It's unnatural. There's nothing we could do for you now anyway. Couldn't you make a living down there? Couldn't you find some way to make a living and support yourself? What did you come back here for? You expect us to feed you forever? I didn't know where else to go. I never went back to my parents, never. Never had the urge. I was independent, always independent. 
always found a way, self-sufficient. But I didn't know what to do. I couldn't figure anything out. There's nothing to figure out. You just forge ahead. What's there to figure out? I was standing. It's night. I was full of the smell in New Mexico. It's different than Illinois. Totally different. Foreign almost. I was full of the smell of it like pine smoke and mesquite. That was it. It was foreign. So I left there and I come back here. Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Hmm? How bad? You're not supposed to go out there. You heard what she said. Don't play deaf with me. I like it back In there. the rain. Especially in the rain. I like how it feels. Feels like it always does. You're did. supposed to watch out for me. Give me things when I need them. Well, what do you need? I don't need anything yet, but I might. I might need something any second. Any second now. I can't be left alone for a minute. I'll be right out back. You can just yell. No, it's too far. You can't go out there. It's too far. <coughs> you might not even hear me. <coughs> I could die in here. You'd never hear me. Hey, you want a pill? Why don't you take a pill? Yeah. Right, give me some water. Yeah. You just lay down and rest for a while. You're not going outside, are you? No. <coughs> I don't, I don't want to wake up and find you're not here. <coughs> I'll be here. You stay right here. Yeah. yeah. I'll be right on my chair. There's not a chair. That's my old milking stool. I know. Don't call it a chair. I won't. <coughs> what are you doing? Leave that on me. Don't take that off me. That's my cap. I know. Bradley will shave my head if I don't have that on. That's my cap. I want. Don't take my cap off. I want. Just stay here now. Don't go outside. There's nothing out there. Never has been. It's empty. I want. Everything's in here. Everything you need. Money's on the table. TV. The TV's on. Yep. You yeah, turn it off. Will you turn the damn thing off? What's it doing on? You left it on? Well, turn it off. Stop. Leave it off. I will. When I fall asleep, you can turn it back on. Okay. You can watch the ball game. The White Sox. You like the White Sox, don't you? Yeah. You can watch the White Sox. Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee Reese. You remember Pee Wee Reese? No. Was he with the White Sox? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pee Wee Reese. <laughs> Bases loaded, top of the sixth. Bases loaded, runners on first and third. <laughs> Big fat knuckleball floater. Big as a blimp. <laughs> Cracko. Ball just took it off like a rocket. Just polarized. I marked it. I marked it with my eyes between the clock and the Burmese man. I was the first kid out there. The first kid, I had to fight hard for that ball. I wouldn't give it up. They almost tore the ears right off of me, but I wouldn't give it up. <laughs> oh, sir. Oh.
Mom! What's the matter with that? It's American. American? Where's the milkman and the little dog? What's the little dog's name? Spot. Hey, come on, knock it off. This is my heritage, okay? Grandma? <laughs> Grandma? Okay, it's really not all that humorous. I know it's not. I'm I sorry. I mean, this is a very tense situation for me. I haven't seen them over six years, so I don't know what to expect. I know. I won't do it again. Scout's honor. <laughs> Just don't say grandma, okay? <laughs> I mean, if you say grandma, I don't know if I can control myself. Well, try. Please, okay? Grandma? <laughs> okay. Grandma!
I'm, uh, with Vince. He's upstairs. Vince? Yeah, just a second. You better get down here. Just a minute, I'm looking at all these pictures. We just got here. We drove up from New York. It was pouring rain on the freeway, so we thought we'd stop by. I mean, Vince was planning on stopping anyway. He wanted to see you. He said he hadn't seen you in a long time. Oh, <laughs> pay you a little visit? We were going all the way through to New Mexico to see his father. I guess his father lives out there in a trailer or something. We thought we'd stop by and see you on the way. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? <laughs> I mean, Vince has this thing about his family now. I guess it's a new thing with him. I kind of find it hard to relate to, but he feels it's important, you know. <laughs> I mean, he wants to get to know you again. After all this time, reunite. I don't have much faith in it myself. Reuniting. <laughs> Vince, will you come down here, please? Aw, I guess they went out for a while. Uh. Grandpa! <laughs> Uh, did you bring the whiskey? Grandpa, it's me. It's Vince. You didn't do what you told me. You didn't stay here with me. Grandpa, I haven't been here till just now. I just got here. You left. Abandoned me. Went outside like we told you not to do. You went out there and back in the rain. Is he okay? I don't know. Look, Grandpa, hey, don't you remember me? It's me. It's Vince. It's your grandson, and I know it's been a while. My hair's a little longer. You see what happens when you leave Whoa, me alone? Okay. You see that? That's what happens. Oh, what's going on, Grandpa? Where's Hallie? Hey, don't worry about her. She won't be back for days. She's absconded. <laughs> she says she'll be back, but she won't be. There's life in the old girl yet. Okay, how, how did you do that to your head? I didn't do it. Don't be ridiculous. Where do you think I am, an animal? Okay, well, who did then? Who do you think did it? What do you think? <laughs> Vince, maybe we ought to go. Just a second. Grandpa, look, hey, I just got here. I just now got here. I haven't been here in over six years, so I don't know anything that's happened. You don't know anything? Um, no. Well, that's good. That's good. It's much better not to know anything. It's much, much better. Isn't there anybody else here with you? Tilden's here. Uh, No. No, huh? Grandpa, Tilden's in New Mexico. That's where I was going. I'm going out there to see him. We just stopped up here because it was on the way. Well, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> Vince, why don't we spend the night in the motel and we can come back in the morning. Don't be scared. Have He's just old. Shower, maybe everything you do. I'm not scared. You two are not my idea of the perfect couple. <laughs> oh, really? Why is that? Please don't aggravate There's me. There's something please. wrong between the two of you. There's something that's not compatible, like chalk and cheese. <laughs> or Grandpa, where did Hallie go? Hey, yeah. maybe we should call her, because I don't understand why you're here all by yourself. Isn't there anybody looking after you? What are you talking about? Do you know what you're talking about, or you're just talking for the sake of talking, lubricating the gums? Okay, I'm just trying to... Hallie's out with her boyfriend, the right Reverend Dewis. He's not a breeder man. man. He's a man of God. The next best thing, I suppose. I don't know. I'm really trying to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I expected everything to be different. Yeah. I mean, the same. I expected it to be more like it used to be. You know, who are you to expect anything? <laughs> who are you supposed to be? Who am I supposed to be? I'm Vince. I'm your grandson. You've got to remember me. Vince? My grandson? That's rich. Okay, I'm, I'm Tilden's son. Tilden's son, Vince. He had two, I guess. Two? No, he didn't. Look, you haven't seen me for a long time. When was the last time? Um, I don't remember exactly. It was, oh, it was a big dinner. It was a reunion kind of, and there was turkey, and remember you made some comment about Dad's fastball? I was a kid, I guess. It was quite a while ago. You don't remember? No, not really. I mean, I remember that we were all sitting at a big table, all of us, and you and Bradley were making fun of Dad's fastball. Dad's fastball. You don't remember. How am I supposed to remember if you don't? Well, I remember being there. I just don't remember some of the details. Vince, come on. This isn't going to work out. I've got a strong feeling. Just take it easy, Shelly, please. I'm taking it easy. He doesn't even know who you are. Of course he knows who I am. I think he's just tired or something. Grandpa, look, I don't know... Stay where you are. Keep your distance. Okay. Vince, this is crazy. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't even want us here. He doesn't even like us. Well, she's a beautiful girl. Oh, thanks. Very fetching, as they used to say. Oh, my God. What's your name, girl girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shelly. Shelly. Mm -hmm. That's a man's name, isn't it? Uh, not in this case. Well, she's a smart ass, too. <laughs> Can we go? All right, Grandpa, look. Look at me for a second. Try to remember my face. She wants to go. She just got here. She wants to go. Itchy. Well, this is kind of strange for her. I mean, this is strange enough for me. Well, she'll get used to it. What part of the country do you hail from, girlie? 
originally. Originally, that's right, at the very start. L.A. L.A., stupid country. Ha! I can't stand this. No, it's stupid. L.A. is stupid. So is Florida. You know, all those sunshine states, they're all stupid. You want to know why they're stupid? No. Illuminate. Shelly, don't do that, please. I'll tell you why, because they're full of smart asses. That's why. <laughs> now she's insulted. She's insulted. Look at her. In my house, she's insulted. <laughs> She's over there sulking because I sulked. Oh, uh, this is really terrific. This is wonderful. Hmm? And you're worried about me making the right first impression. She's a fireball, isn't she, huh? Regular fireball. I had some of them in my day. Temporary stuff. Never lasted more than a week. All right. Grandpa. Stop calling me Grandpa. Well, you're sickening, Grandpa. I'm nobody's Grandpa. Least of all, you're... I can't believe that you don't recognize me. I just can't believe it. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe you got the wrong house. Did you ever think of that? Maybe this is the wrong address. No, it's not the wrong address, Shelly. I recognize the yard. I recognize the porch and the elm tree in the house. I mean, I was standing right in this house. I was standing right in this very spot. Yeah, but do you recognize the people? He says he's not your grandfather. He's my grandpa. I know he's my grandpa. He's always been my grandpa. He always will be my grandpa. Where's that bottle? He's just, you know, he's sick or something. Where's, I don't know, my, where's my goddamn bottle? Hey, can't we bottle? get your mom to New Mexico? Well, this oh. is terrible, Vince. I, I don't want to stay here in this house. I thought it was going to be turkey dinner and apple pie and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I hate to disappoint you, Shelly. I'm not disappointed. Yeah. I'm fucking over this. Yeah. I wake up. Look at me. He's mom. lost his mind or something. I gotta try to help him or do something. You help him. I'm leaving. Dylan! Okay. Just... Dylan, get your ass in here. Let go of You're me. not going anywhere. I need you to stay Let go of me, son of a bitch. I'm not your property. Okay. Where the hell have you been? I'll back. <laughs> Wait. Where's my bottle? Dad! Gone. Dad, you what are you doing? No, you have no Dad. right to steal my bottle. No right at all. Who do you think you are? It's Vince. Wait, what? I'm Vince. Here we go again. <laughs> I picked these carrots. If anybody wants carrots, I picked them. Now, wait a minute. If this is your father, the one we were going to Shelly. visit? Hey, Dad, what's going on? What are you doing back here? Well, this is actually your father, the one in New Mexico? You're going to have to get me another bottle. You got to get me a bottle before Hallie comes back. There's money on the table. I'm not going down there into town. I never do well in town. <laughs> are you Vince's father? Vince? And this is supposed to be your son. Is he your son? Do you recognize him? <laughs> I'm just along for the ride here. I thought everybody knew each other. I had a son once, but we buried you him. You shut up about that. You don't know anything about that. Dad, I thought you were in Bernalillo. We were about to drive down there and see you. Long way to drive. Terrible distance out west. It's way out west. Hey, Dad, what's happened? Has something happened? I thought everything was all right. What's happened to Hallie? What are you she doing back here? Church or something. It's always church. God or Jesus or both. <laughs> Do you want me to take those carrots for you? No, no, no. like, no. You like carrots? Sure, I, I like all kinds of vegetables. I'm a vegetarian. Hitler was a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get me a bottle before Hallie comes back. The whole back lot is full of carrots. Corn. Potatoes. You're Vince's father, right? His real father. I'm All just kinds asking. of vegetables. You like vegetables? <laughs> yeah, I love vegetables. We could cook these carrots, you know. You could cut them, and we could cook them. You and me. <laughs> All right, sure. Shelly, Whatever works. I'll give you a pail and a knife. Okay. Shelly? I'll be right back. Don't go. Hey, Dad? Dad? Wait a second. Dad? Dad? Okay, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell's going on here? What's happened to everybody? You could get me a bottle. There's money on the table. Grandpa, why don't you just lay down for a while? I don't want to lay down for a while. Every time I lay down, something happens. I mean, look at that. That's what ah, happened. Yeah. You go lay down. See what happens to you. See how you lay down. You steal your bottle, cut your hair, and murder your children. That's what'll happen. It'll eat you alive. Cannibal. If you just relax for a while, then maybe things will start to come back to you. You can get me a bottle, you know. There's nothing stopping you from getting me a bottle. Why don't you get him a bottle, Vince? Maybe it'll help everybody identify each other. <laughs> See, she thinks you should get me a bottle. She's a smart cookie. Suddenly she got smart. Hey, Shelly, what are you doing with those carrots? <gasps> I'm waiting for your father. She thinks you should get me a bottle. Okay, Shelly, put the carrots down, will ya? We gotta deal with the situation here. I'm gonna need your help. I don't know what's going on here, but I need your help to try to figure this out. I'm helping. You're only adding to the problem. You're making things worse. Get the carrots. Why are you doing this? You're trying to make fun of me? This is my family, you know? You could have fooled me. I just assume not here myself. Just I just assume you a thousand miles from here. I'd rather be anywhere but here. You're the one who wants to stay, so I'll stay. I'll stay and I'll cut the carrots and I'll cook the carrots and I'll do whatever I have to do to survive. Just to make it just put the carrots out. The carrots aren't going to help. The carrots have nothing to do with the situation here. Uh -huh.
She could get me a bottle. She's the type of girl that could get me a bottle. She'd go down there and slink up to the counter and they'd probably give her two bottles for the price of one. She could do that. She's got that air about her, that slinky air. Oh. All right, guys, I really haven't changed that much, right? I mean, physically, physically, I'm just about the same. I'm the same size, I'm the same weight, everything's the same. She's a beautiful girl, exceptional. Okay, look, look at this. Hey, Grandpa, do you remember this? Do you remember how I used to bend my thumb behind my knuckles? I used to do the dinner table way back when, and you told me one day it would get stuck like this and I'd never be able to throw a baseball, remember? Come on, you remember. Um, what about this, Grandpa, you remember this? All right, you remember this, right, Dad? You must remember how I used to do Rudy Tooty. Or a St. James Infirmary. When the Saints go marching. And... He drives me crazy with that Wait a minute, time. I know, here's one you remember, because you used to kick me out of the house with this. Remember I used to lift up my shirt and go, Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. So good to see you looking well this fine Sunday morning. <laughs> it's the same old me. It's the same old dependable me. I never change. I never alter one iota. Fitz, don't be pathetic, will ya? They're not gonna play. Can't you see that? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Maybe it's me. Maybe I forgot something. You forgot to get me a bottle. That's what you forgot. Anybody in the house can get me a bottle. Anybody, but nobody will. Nobody understands the urgency. Peeling carrots is more important. Playing piano on your teeth. Just wait till you get up in years, find yourself immobilized, dependent on the whims of others. Boy, this is amazing. This is truly amazing. What is this anyway? Am I being punished here or what? Is that it? Is this some kind of banishment? Is this some kind of wicked warped exile? Just tell me, okay? I can take it. Just lay it on me. What was it? Did I betray some secret ancient family taboo way back when? Or did I cross a line somewhere when I wasn't looking? I mean, what exactly was it? Fins, what are you doing that for? They don't care about any of that. They just don't recognize you. That's all they're not they don't recognize me. How in the hell can they not recognize me? I'm their son. I'm their flesh and blood. Anybody can see that we're all related. You're no son of mine. I've had sons in my time. Plenty of sons. You're not one of them. I know them by the scent. They smell like old french fries. All right. You know what? I'll get you a bottle, okay? I'll get you a goddamn bottle. You will? Yeah, sure. You bet. Hot dog. If that's what it takes, then maybe somebody can tell me what's going on here. You're not going to leave me here alone, are you? You suggested it. You said, why don't I go get him a bottle? So that's what I'll do. I'll go get him a bottle and hope it helps jar things loose. But I can't by myself. Don't let her talk you out of it. She's a bad influence. I could, I could see her the man she stepped in. Hey, Shelly. Hey, I gotta go out for a while. I just I just gotta get out of here and think things through by myself. I'll just go get a bottle and I'll be right back. I don't know if I can handle this, Vince. You'll be fine. Nothing's gonna happen there. Not dangerous or anything. Can't we just go? No, I gotta figure out what's going on here. I mean, something has fallen apart. This isn't how it used to be. Believe me, this is nothing like how it used to be. Look, you think you're bad off? What about me? Not only don't they recognize me, but I've never seen them before in my life. I don't know who these guys are. They could be anybody. But they're not anybody. Well, that's what you said. They're my family, for Christ's sake. I should know who my own family is. Now, give me a break. I'm just going to go get a bottle, and I'll be right back. Nothing will happen, I promise, okay? Unbelievable. Nothing will happen. All right. I'm going to go out now, Grandpa, and I'm going to pick you up a bottle, okay? Persistence. See, that's what it takes. Persistence. <laughs> Persistence, fortitude, determination. Those are the three virtues. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how the country was founded. Uh -huh. You stick with those three, and you can't go wrong. Money's on the table in the kitchen. Okay. You'll be all right, Shelly. I won't be too long. Oh, I'll just keep real busy while you're gone. I love vegetables. You want anything, Dad? Me. Yes, you, Dad. That's you. From the store. I'm going to get Grandpa a bottle. Do you want anything from the store? Well, he's not supposed to drink. Mm. Holly wouldn't like it. She'd be disappointed. Right, he really wants a bottle. He's not supposed to drink. Well, don't negotiate with him. He's the one who stole my bottle. <laughs> Don't make any transactions until you've spoken to me first. He'll steal your blind. All right, well, Tilden says you're not supposed to drink. Tilden's lost his marbles. Look at him. He's around the twist. Take a good look at him. He's, he's come unwound. Now look at me. Look here at me. <laughs> now, between the two of us, who do you think's more trustworthy? Him or me? All right. Can you trust a man who keeps bringing vegetables from out of nowhere? I mean, look at him. Go get the bottle, Vince. Just go get the bottle. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Where are you going? I'm gonna go get the money. Then where are you going? I'm gonna go to the liquor store. Don't go anyplace else. Don't don't go off someplace and drink by yourself. Come right back here. I don't drink. You got responsibility now, and don't go out the back way either. Come out through this way. I want to see you when you leave. Don't go out back. I won't. Untrustworthy. 
Probably drown himself if he went out back, fall right in a hole, I'll never get my bottle. I wouldn't worry about Vince, he can take care of himself. Oh, he can, huh? Oh. Independent. You got the money? Uh, yeah, I got two bucks. Mm, two bucks is two bucks, don't sneer. Well, what kind do you want for two bucks? Applejack. They still make Applejack? Yeah, they still make Applejack, nothing fancy. Okay. You drove all the way from New Mexico? No, I... All right, look. While I'm gone, try to remember who I am, okay? <laughs> try real hard to remember. Just use your imaginations, because it might suddenly come back to you in a flash. It's a long, lonely stretch of road. I've driven that stretch. There's no end to it. You feel like you're gonna fall right off into blackness? You really don't recognize him, either one of you. Recognize who? Vince. What's to recognize? It'd be cruel if you recognize him and didn't tell him. Wouldn't be fair. Cruel? Well, it would be. I mean, it's not really possible, is it, that he's not related to you at all? Just a stranger? You seem so sure about it. Cruel. Cruel would be when they tear your skin off. <laughs> I thought I recognized him. I thought I recognized something about him. You did? I thought I saw a face inside his face. Well, it, it was probably that you saw what he used to look like. You haven't seen him for six years. I uh haven't. -huh. That's what he says. Where was it I saw him last? I have no idea. I've only known him for a few months myself. He doesn't tell me everything. He doesn't? Not stuff like that. What does he tell you? You mean in general? Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he tells me all kinds of things. Like what? Well, I don't know. I mean, I can't just come out and tell you how he feels. How come? Because of stuff he told me privately. You can't tell me. <laughs> I don't even know you. I'm not even sure he knows you. Tilly, go in the kitchen, make me some coffee. Leave the girl alone. She's nervous. She's ready to jump ship any second. <laughs> He's all right. You gotta watch him. You mean you can't tell me anything? I can tell you some things. I mean, we can have a conversation. We can? Sure. We're having a conversation right now. We are? Yes, that's what we're doing. It's easy. But there are certain things you can't tell me, right? Right. And there's certain things I can't tell you either. How come? I don't know. Nobody's supposed to hear it. Well, you can tell me anything you want to. I can? Sure. Might not be very nice. That's all right. I've been around. Might be awful. Well, can't you tell me anything nice? Can I touch your coat? My coat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. You don't mind? No, go ahead. It's rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> My arm's getting tired. Can I hold it? <laughs> the coat? That's all I need. You get a car. Vince does. I had a car once. A white car. I drove. I went everywhere. Went in the mountain. Drove in the snow. That must have been fun. I drive all day long sometimes. Across the desert. 
We out across the desert. I drove past tiny towns everywhere. Past palm trees, lightning, anywhere. I'll drive through it. I'll drive through it. I would stop and I would look around and I would see things sometimes. I would see things I wasn't supposed to see. Like deer, people, <laughs> hawks, owls. And I would look them right in the eye. And they would look back at me and I could tell by the way they were looking that I wasn't supposed to be there. So I'd drive on. I'd get back in my car and I'd drive. I love driving. There's nothing I love more. Nothing I dreamed of is better than driving. I was independent. Pipe down, we stop running off in the mountain. Do you do much driving now? No, no, I don't drive now. How come? I'm older. But you're not that old. I'm not a kid anymore. You don't have to be a kid to drive. I wasn't driving then. What was it? Adventure. I went everywhere. Mm. I had a sensation of myself. Well, you could still do that. Not now. Why not? I just told you. You don't understand. If I told you something, you wouldn't understand it. Told me what? Told you something that was true. Like what? Like a baby, like a little tiny baby. Like when you were little? If I told you, you made me give your coat back. <laughs> I won't, I promise. <laughs> tell me. I can't. He won't hear you. It's okay. He's watching TV. We had a baby. Little, tiny baby. Pick it up in one hand. Told him. Put it in the other. So small, just disappeared. Told him. Nobody could find her. And we had no hymns, no service. Nobody could. Told him. Cops looked for it. Neighbors, nobody could find it. Told him to leave her alone. She's completely Finally, innocent. Everybody just gave up. Just stopped looking. Told everybody him. had a different answer. Told him. This little tiny baby disappeared. Come on, why are you telling so him? Small, um, invisible. You can hold it. Tell so her, what are you telling her? Don't tell her anything. She's an outsider. He's the only one who knows where it is. The only one like a secret buried treasure and he won't tell any of us. Probably want your coat back now. I would, if I was you. What's going on here? Who is that? Who is she supposed to be? She's driving in New Mexico. She got a car. Vacation? Taking him with you? Well, you oughta. No use leaving him here. Doesn't do a lick of work. Doesn't raise a finger, do you? Mm -mm. Of course, he used to be all American. The quarterback, fullback, or something. Halfback. Uh -huh. He tell you about that? Brag on himself? Yeah, he used to be a real big deal. 
wore Letterman sweaters. Had medals hanging all around his neck. Real pretty. He was a big damn dude. And this one too. Wouldn't think to look at him, would you? All bony and wasted away. What? Women like that kind of thing, don't they? What? Importance. Importance in a man. I don't know. Yeah, you know. You know, don't give me that. You're with Tilden? No. <laughs> Tilden? She with you? Cat like a scalded dog. Hmm? Mm -mm. Oh, scared to death. He was always scared. Scared of his own shadow. Some things are like that. They just tremble for no reason. You have noticed that? They just shake. Can't we do something for him? Oh, we could shoot him. Put him out of his misery. Shut up! Hey! hey you don't talk to me like that! You don't talk to me in that tone of voice! Now, there was a time where I had to take that tone of voice from pretty near everyone. Him, for one. When he was a whole man, full of himself, him and that half brain that just ran out of here, they don't talk to me like that now. Mm -mm. Not anymore. See, everything is turned around now. Full circle, isn't that funny? I'm sorry. Mm. Open your mouth. What? Open up. Wider. You can keep it like that. What? Shh, you need to stay put. He skipped town with my money, you know. I'm gonna hold you as collateral. He'll be back, don't you worry. He always comes back. Uh, faithful type. No. Determined. <laughs> it is morning already. I did get to be morning. Not only didn't I get my bottle, he's got my two bucks. <laughs> I'm surrounded by thieves. <sighs> Try to drink this, okay? Don't spill it. What is it? Beef bouillon. It'll warm you up. Uh, bouillon. I don't want any goddamn bouillon. Get this stuff away from me. I just got through making it. I don't care if you just spent all week making it. I ain't drinking it. Well, what am I supposed to do with it? Hmm? I'm trying to help you out, Sam. It's good for you. Just <laughs> get it away from me. What do you know what's good for me, anyway? 
You know what would be good for me? What? A, a little back rub, a little contact. Oh, no. I've had enough contact for a while, but thanks anyway. Well, why not? You, you got nothing better to do. The fella's not coming back here. You're not expecting him to show up again, are you? Sure, he'll show up. He left his horn here. His horn? You're his horn? <laughs> Very funny. He left town with my money. That's what he did. He's not coming back. He'll be back. This is where he's from. He knows that. He's convinced, and, and so am I. You're a funny chicken, you know that? Funny? Full of hope. Faith. Hmm. Faith and hope. You're all like you hopers. If it's not God, then it's a man. If it's not a man, then it's a woman. If it's not a woman, then it's politics or bee pollen or the future of some kind. Some kind of future. <laughs> bee pollen? Yeah, bee pollen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it stopped raining. <laughs> That's what I mean, see? <laughs> You're glad it stopped raining. Now you think everything's gonna be different just because the sun comes out. It's already different. Last night I was scared. Scared of what? Just scared. Yeah, well, we've all got an instinct for disaster. We can smell it coming. It was your son, Bradley. He scared me. Bradley? Nah, he's a pushover. Especially now. <laughs> what you gotta do is take that leg, throw it out the back door. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> Totally helpless. You do that. Well, me, I already got the strength to breathe. But you'd actually do it if you could. I don't be so shocked there, girly. There's nothing a man can't do. You dream it up, he can do it. Anything. Boggles the imagination. You've tried, I guess. Don't sit there shipping your bullion judging me. This is my house. I forgot. You forgot. Whose house did you think it was? Mine. <laughs> well, I know it's not mine, but I had that feeling. What feeling? The feeling that nobody lives here but me. I mean, everybody's gone. You're here, but it doesn't seem like you're supposed to be. It doesn't seem like he's supposed to be here either. I don't know what it is. It's the house or something. Something familiar, like I know my way around here. <laughs> Did you ever get that feeling? No, no, I never have. I get lost in the hallway sometimes. <laughs> Last night I went to sleep up there in that room. What room? That room up there with all the pictures, all the crosses on the wall. Hallie's room. Yeah, whoever Hallie is. She's my wife. So you remember her. What do you mean, of course I remember her. She's only been gone a day, half a day, however long it's been. Do you remember her when her hair was bright red, standing in front of an apple tree? What is this, the third degree or something? Who are you to be asking me personal questions about my wife? You never look at those pictures up there? What picture? Your whole life's up there hanging on the wall. Somebody looks just like you. Somebody looks just like you used to look. That isn't me. That never was me. This is me, right here. This is it. The whole shooting match sitting right in front of me. All that other stuff was a sham. So the past never happened as far as you're concerned? The past. This is the past. Jesus Christ. The past is past. What do you know about the past? Not much. I know there was a farm. <laughs> no farm? There's a picture of a farm. A big farm. A bull. Wheat. Corn. Corn. All the kids are standing out in the corn. They're all waving these big straw hats. One of them doesn't have a hat. Which one was that? There's a baby. A baby in a woman's arms. It's the same woman with the red hair. She looks lost standing out there. Like she doesn't know how she got there. Oh, well, she knows. I told her a hundred times it wasn't going to be the city. She had plenty of warnings. She's looking down at the baby like it was somebody else's. Like it didn't even belong to her. Uh, that's about enough out of you. You got some funny ideas, sister. Some damn funny ideas. You think just because people propagate they got to love their offspring? You never seen a bitch eat her puppies? Where are you from anyway? L.A. We already went through that. Well, that's right. I remember L.A. Stupid country. That's right. No wonder. Dumber than dirt. What's happened to this family anyway? You're in no position to ask. What do you care? 
Are you some kind of social worker? I'm Vince's friend. Vince's friend. That's rich. That's really rich. Vince. Mr. Vince. Mr. Thief is more like it. His name doesn't mean a hoot in hell to me, not a tinkle in the well. You know how many kids I've spawned? Not to mention grandkids, great-grandkids, great-great-grandkids. And you don't remember any of them? Oh, what's to remember? Hallie's the one with a family album. She's the one you want to talk to. She'll set you straight on the heritage, if that's what you're interested in. She's traced it all the way back to the grave. What do you mean? <clears throat> what do you think I mean? How far back can you go? Long line of corpses. There's not a living soul behind me, not a one. Who gives a damn about bones in the ground? What was Tilden trying to tell me last night? Tilden? Where is Tilden? What was he trying to say about the baby? What happened to Tilden? Why isn't Tilden here? Bradley chased him out. Bradley? Why is he on my sofa? Have I been here all night on the floor? He wouldn't leave. I hid outside until he fell asleep. Outside? Is Tilden outside? He shouldn't be out there in the rain. He's going to get himself into trouble. Well, he doesn't know his way around here anymore, not like he used to. He went out west and he got himself into trouble. Deep trouble. We don't want any of that around here. What did he do? Tilden. He got mixed up. That's what he did. We can't afford to leave him alone, not now. <laughs> oh, no. Right, so sit down. Sit back down. Oh, sit down. Just don't leave me now, promise me. Till Liz's not here and I need someone, so don't leave now, promise. You promise? I won't. Promise. Uh, no, 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 sit back down. Don't let him buffalo you. Oh, my gracious. What in the name of Judas Priest is going on in this house? <laughs> Excuse me, Father. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you, dear. Oh, yeah. hey. You can't leave this house for one second without the devil blowing in the front door. <laughs> Give me back that coat. Give me back that goddamn coat before I freeze it down. You're not going to freeze. The sun's out, in case you hadn't Just noticed. Just give me back the coat. It's meant for live flesh, not dead wood. <laughs> mm. Well, here. Use this. It's yours anyway. Can't you take care of yourself for once? Give <laughs> me that blanket. Give me back that blanket. It's hey, a uh, blanket. Believe me, Father, this is not what I had in mind when I invited you in. <laughs> I, I, I keep forgetting how easily things can fall to pieces when I'm not here to hold them together. No apologies, please. I wouldn't be in the ministry if I couldn't face real life. Oh. <laughs> what, my blanket? Give me back my blanket! Shut up, Bradley. Right this minute, I've had enough. Shameful the way you carry on. You gave me that blanket! Enough. What are you doing with my cup and saucer? I made some bouillon for Dodge. <laughs> for Dodge? Yeah. <laughs> my husband, Dodge. Uh, yes. <laughs> You're here in my house making bouillon for my husband. <laughs> yes. Well, did he drink it? Uh, no. Did you drink it? Uh, yes. Father, there's a stranger in my house. <laughs> what would you advise? What would be the Christian thing? Well, um, I, I really, uh, 
Is she a trespasser? <laughs> we still have some whiskey, don't we? A drop or two? Uh, listen, I don't drink or anything. You sit back I, down. I think we still have plenty of whiskey left, don't we, Father? Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, I think so. <laughs> You'll have to get it. My hands are full. things, Roses. Aren't they just incredible, Father? Yes, yes they are. <laughs> they almost cover the stench of sin mm. in this house. Hanky-panky! <laughs> just magnificent, the smell. We'll have to put some at the foot of Ansel's statue on the day of the unveiling. Ansel's getting a statue dodge. Did you know that? Not a plaque but a real live statue, a full bronze from tip to toe, a basketball in one hand and a rifle in the other. He never played basketball. You just better <laughs> shut up, Bradley. Shut up right this instant about Ansel. Ansel played basketball better than anyone, and you know it. He was an All-American. There's no reason to take the glory away from others, especially when one's own shortcomings are so apparent. <laughs> Ansel was a great basketball player. Make no mistake, oh, one of the I greatest. Rem I remember Ansel, handsome lad. Tall, strapping. Of course, of course, you remember. <laughs> you remember how he could play. Mm. Of course, nowadays, they play a different brand of basketball. More vicious. Isn't that right, dear? I don't know. Much, much more vicious. They smash into each other. They knock each other's teeth out. There's blood all over the court. Savages! Barbaric, don't you think? They don't train like they used to. Not at all. They allow themselves to run amok. Drugs in women. Women mostly, mostly women. Girls. Sad, pathetic, little skinny girls. <laughs> it's a reflection of the times. Don't you think, Father, an indication of where we stand? No, I suppose so, yes. I've been so busy with the choir that I have Yes! <laughs> A sort of bad omen. Ooh. Our youth becoming monsters. No, I wouldn't go quite that far. You can disagree with me if you want <laughs> to, Father. I'm open to debate. Well. I suppose in the long run, mm. really doesn't matter. When you see the way things deteriorate before your very eyes, everything running downhill, it's kind of silly to even think about youth. No, I, no, I don't <laughs> think so. I think it's... Important to believe in certain things, certain basic truths, I mean. You know. Yes. Yes, I see what you mean. Mm. I think that's right. I think that's true. Certain basic things. We can't shake the fundamentals. We might end up crazy like my husband. You can see it in his eyes. You can see the madness almost oozing out. We can't not believe in something. We can't stop believing. We just end up dying if we stop. Just end up dead. Ansel never played basketball. Bradley, I'm warning you. <laughs> Don't you want to know who I am? Don't you want to know what I'm doing here, sitting in the middle of your house? I'm not dead. Did you drink your whiskey? Um, no. And I'm not going to either. <laughs> Ooh, that's a firm stand. It's good to have a firm stand. <gasps> I don't have any stand at all. I'm just trying to put all this together. Surprises. Surprises. Do you have any idea we'd be returning to this? I came here with your grandson for a little visit. A little innocent, friendly visit. My grandson? Yes. That's right. The one no one seems to remember. This is getting a little far-fetched. I told him it was stupid to come back here. To try and pick up from where he left off. Where was that? Wherever he was when he left here. Six years ago, ten years ago, whatever it was. I told him nobody cares. I told him nobody cares anymore. Nobody's going to care. But he didn't listen. We had to stop off at every tiny little meatball town that he remembered from his boyhood. My grandson. Every dumb little donut shop he ever kissed a girl in. Every drive-in, every drag strip, every football field he ever broke a bone on. Where's Tilden? Don't ignore me. Tilden! I'm telling you something! Dodge! Where's Tilden gone to? 
I'm talking to you. Oh. I'm standing here talking to you. Don't you yell at my mother. Dodge, I told you not to let Tilden out of your sight. Where's he going Give to? Give me a drink, I'll tell you. Harry, maybe this isn't the right time for a visit. I never should have left. I never, never should have left. Tilden could be anywhere now, oh, anywhere. He's not hey. in control of his faculties. You, got my you, want it. It. you know you got how my he blanket. wanted. Dodge knew that. Give me that blanket. It's my blanket. I told you specifically to watch out for him. Grab me, put that back. I know what he wanted. Tell you anything, girl. Not a thing. You're not the police, are you? You're not the government. You're just some prostitute till the girl. Language. Anymore. I won't have that language in you my house. You stuck your hand in my mouth and you call me a prostitute. What kind of a weird fucked up yo yo are you? Bradley, did you put your hand in this girl's I mouth? I never did. You don't know what kind of diseases she might be carrying. things out. To try to use some reason, no point in going off the deep end. Nothing to be gained from that. There isn't any reason here. I can't find a reason for anything. There's nothing to be afraid of. These are all good people. All righteous souls. I'm not afraid. But this is not your house. You have to have some respect. You're all the strangers here, not me. Oh, Father, this is so I, far please, me. let me handle this. I have some experience. Don't come near me. Don't anyone come near me. I don't need any words from you. I'm not threatening anybody. I don't even know what I'm doing here. You all say you don't remember Vince. Okay, maybe you don't. Maybe it's Vince that's crazy. Maybe he's made this whole family thing up. I don't even care anymore. I thought I was just coming along for the ride. I thought it'd be a nice gesture. And besides, I was curious. He made all of you sound familiar to me. Every one of you. For every name, I had an image. Every time he'd tell me a name, I'd see the person. In fact, each of you was so clear in my mind, I, I, I actually believed it was you. I really believed that. That when I walked through that door, that, that the people who lived here would turn out to be the same people in my imagination. Real people. People with faces. But I don't recognize any of you. Not one, not even the slightest resemblance. Well, you can hardly blame others for not fulfilling your hallucination. It was no hallucination. It was like a prophecy. You leave a prophecy, don't you, Father? Father, there's no point in talking to her any further. We're just going to have to call the police. No, no, don't get the police in here. We don't want the police in here. This is our home. Well, that's right. Bradley's right. Don't you usually settle your affairs in private? Don't you usually take them out in the dark? Out in the back? Right, you stay out of our lives! You got no business interfering! I got no business, period! I've got nothing to lose! I'm a free agent! You don't know what we've been through. The wars? The disease? Devastation? You don't know anything about it! I know you've got a secret! You've all got a secret! It's so secret, in fact, you're all convinced it never happened! Oh my god, Father, who is this person? She thinks she's going to get it out of us. She thinks she's going to uncover the truth of the matter. Like a detective or something. You know, I'm not telling her anything. Nothing's wrong here. Nothing's ever been wrong here. Everything's the way it's supposed to be. 
Nothing's ever happened this bad. Everything's all right here. We are all good people. Always been good people right from the very start. She thinks she's suddenly going to bring everything out into the open after all these years. Can't you see that these people want to be left in peace? Don't you have any mercy? They haven't done anything to you. She wants to get to the bottom of it. That's it, isn't it? You'd like to get right down to bedrock. Look the beast right dead in the eye. You want me to tell you? You want me to tell you what happened? I'll tell you. I might as well. I wouldn't mind hearing it hit the air after all these years of silence. No, don't, uh, don't, don't listen to him. He doesn't remember anything. I remember the whole thing from start to finish. I remember the day he was born. Dodge. If you tell this thing, if you tell this, you'll be dead to me. You'll be just as good as dead. Well, that won't be such a big change, Hallie. You see, this girl, this little girl here, she wants to know. She wants to know something more. And I got a feeling it doesn't make a bit of difference. I'd sooner tell it to a stranger than anybody else. I'd sooner tell it to the four wind. No, 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 no. We made a pact. Right? We made a pact between us. You can't break that now. I don't remember any pact. You see, we were a well-established family once. Well-established. All the boys were grown. The farm was producing enough milk to fill Lake Michigan twice over. Me and Hallie here were pointing toward what looked like the middle part of our life. <laughs> Everything was settled with us. All we had to do was ride it out. Then Hallie got pregnant again. Out the middle of nowhere, she got pregnant. We weren't planning on having any more boys. We had enough boys. In fact, we hadn't been sleeping in the same bed for about six years. I'm not listening to this. I don't have to listen to this. Where are you going? Upstairs. Just be listening to it upstairs. You go outside, you just be listening to it outside. You might as well just stay here and listen to it. Hell, he had this kid, see? This baby boy. She had it. I let her have it on her own. All the other boys, I had the best doctors, the best nurses, everything, but this one, I let her have it by herself. This one hurt real bad. Almost killed her, but she had it anyway. And it lived, see? It lived. He wanted to grow up in this family. He wanted to be just like us. He wanted to be part of us. He wanted to pretend I was his father. And she wanted me to believe in it even when everyone around us knew. Everyone. All the boys knew. Tilden knew. You shut up. Bradley, make him stop. Tilden was the one who knew. Better than any of us. He'd walk for miles with that kid in his arms. Hallie let him take it. All night sometimes. He'd walk all night out there in the pasture with it, talking to it, singing to it. <laughs> I used to hear him singing to it. He'd make up stories, tell the kid all kinds of stories, even when he knew it couldn't understand him. We couldn't let that kind of thing continue. We couldn't have that growing up right in the middle of our lives. It made everything we'd accomplished look like it was nothing. Everything was canceled out by this one mistake, this one weakness. So you? I killed it. 
I drowned it out there in the horse tank, just like the runt of a litter. I just drowned it. There was no struggle, no noise. Life just left it. Ansel would have stopped him. Ansel would have stopped him from telling these lies. He was a hero. He was a man, a whole man. What's happened to the men in this family? Where are the men? <laughs> Vincent, everyone. He was the perfect baby, so pink and perfect. He'll be all right in a little while. He, he just had a few too many, that's all. <laughs> he used to sing in his sleep. He'd sing in the middle of the night, the sweetest voice like an angel. And I used to lie awake listening to it. I used to lie awake thinking, it'd be all right if I died because Vincent ah! was an angel. Whoa! He's a guardian angel. He'd watch over us. He'd watch over all of us. He'd see to it that no harm would come. Ah! Oh, oh, he's a liar! <laughs> Go ahead, take over the house. Take over the whole goddamn house. You can have it. It's yours. Been a pain in the neck ever since the very first mortgage. I'm gonna die any second now. Any second. You won't even notice. So I'll settle my affairs once and for all. The house goes to my grandson, Vincent. That's fair and square. All furnishings, accoutrements, paraphernalia, everything tacked to the walls or otherwise resting under this roof. My tools, namely my bandsaw, my skill saw, my drill press, my chainsaws, and my lathe, 
my electric senator, it'll go to my eldest son, Tilden. That is, if he ever shows up again. My Benny Goodman records, my harnesses, my bits, my halters, my brace, my rough rasp, my forge, my welding equipment, my shoe and nails, my levels and bevels, and my milking stool. Not my milking stool. Hammers and chisels and all related materials are to be pushed into a gigantic heap and set ablaze in the very center of my fields. And when that blaze is at its highest, preferably on a cold and windless night, my body is to be pitched into the middle of it <laughs> and burned until nothing remains but ash. I'm leaving, Vince. Whether you come or not, I'm leaving. I can't hang around for this. You'll never make it, you'll see. You're not coming. I just inherited a house, didn't you hear? <laughs> I've finally been recognized. You want to stay here? I gotta carry on the line. It's in the blood. I gotta see to it that things keep rolling. What happened to you, Vince? You just disappeared. I was gonna run last night. I was. I was gonna run and then just keep right on running, clear to the Iowa border. And so I drove all night with the windows open and the old man's two bucks just flapping on the seat beside me. And it never stopped raining the whole time. Never stopped once. And I could see myself in the windshield my face, my eyes, and so I studied my face. I studied everything about it as though I was looking at another man, as though I could see his whole race behind him. And like a mummy's face, I saw him dead, and I saw him alive at the same time, in the same breath. And in the windshield, I watched him breathe, as though he was frozen in time and every breath marked him. Marked him forever without him knowing. And then his face changed. His face became his father's face. Same bones, same eyes, same nose, same breath. And then his father's face, that turned into his grandfather's face. And it went on and on like that, changing. Clear on back to faces I'd never seen before, but I still recognized. Because I still recognize the bones underneath. Same bones, same eyes, same mouth, same breath. And so I followed my family, every last one straight into the corn belt and further straight back as far as they would take me. And then it all dissolved. Everything dissolved. Just like that. But the two bucks, yeah, the two bucks, they kept right on flapping on the seat beside me. Bye, Vince. I can't stay here. I'm not even related. Oh, excuse me, Father. Hey, I'm just getting rid of some of the vermin in this house. This is my house now. You know, it's all mine. 
everything except for some of the power tools and stuff, but I was gonna get all new equipment anyway. Hey, I was gonna get new plows, a new tractor, everything all brand new. Start right off on the ground floor. You better go up and see to your grandmother. I think you should. It'd be the Christian thing. My grandmother? There's nobody else in this house except for you, and you're leaving, aren't you? She's gonna need someone. I can't help her. I don't know what to do. I don't know what my position is here. I'm quite out of my depths. So I'll be the first to admit it. I thought by now the Lord would have sent me some sign, some guidepost, but I haven't seen it. I haven't heard. Dad? Is that you, Dad? Tilden was right about the corn, you know. I've never seen such corn. Have you taken a look at it lately? Dazzling. Tall as a man already. This early in the year. Carrots, too. Potatoes. Peas. It's like a paradise out there, Dodge. You ought to take a look. A miracle. I've never seen it like this. Maybe the rain did something. Maybe it was the rain. Good hard rain. Takes everything straight down deep to the roots. The rest takes care of itself. You can't force a thing to grow. You can't interfere with it. It's all hidden, unseen. You just gotta wait till it pops up out of the ground. Tiny little shoot, tiny little white shoot, all hairy and fragile. Strong though, strong enough to crack the earth even. It's a miracle, Dodge. I've never seen a crop like this in my whole life. Maybe it's the sun, maybe that's it. Maybe it's the sun. <laughs> 